Spartan Nation. SMD Law is the official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Check them out on the interwebs at smdalaw.com or at 866-529-3537. No matter where you are in the state of Michigan, Upper Peninsula, Lower Peninsula, it doesn't matter. They have an office near you. So whether you need to send a letter to an annoying neighbor, or you're a criminal and you need defense, maybe you just have problems with elder law. Check them out, smdalaw.com today. The official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Call them first, then you act. Situation, but uh, you know, once I heard it pop, I knew something happened. Uh, took me back in the locker room. You know, I uh, called my dad up. You know, I had to talk to my dad, but then you know, I want to get back out and feel as quick as possible. You know, try to support my teammates to get the victory. Was that in looking to the future? I'm on the I'm I'm the Did you? Was that a moment that you? Kind of, or first, did you say that? <laughs> I mean, did that, was that a moment? Did you know you were coming back at that point? Yeah, after I had I didn't know I was coming back. What, I mean, what went into that decision before that? I mean, were you kind of feeling like this is, this is my time to go? Well, you know, I went back and forth with it a lot. You know, I was talking with a lot of close people back home, my parents, obviously, and uh, some close mentors to me back, back home. So, you know, we went back and forth a lot, you know, whether it was the right time for me to leave or if I should stay and get my degree. So I hadn't really had my mind made up completely. Uh, you know, I was leaning towards leaving a little bit, but I hadn't made my mind up completely. And then, you know, this obviously made up my mind for me. But, you know, I'm, I'm very um, I'm grateful it happened. I'm not upset about it. You know, everything happens for a reason, I believe. And uh, I'm very grateful and excited to be back in Green and wait for another year. What kind of what kind of grades were you hearing? I mean, were you hearing a couple what, any rounds? Uh, it, was, it was all over the board. And so my draft grade came back. It was like a six, like a two fours, a, a third, and a second, I think. It was all over. So, I mean, does that, I mean, what, how do you use that this year in terms of focusing your motivation, getting up higher, and getting more consistent grade? Uh, yeah, obviously it's um, a lot of motivation knowing that uh, I didn't get the grades I would like to receive, but uh, you know, I just got to use it as a motivation to improve my pass rush. I know it's something I got to improve my pass rushes for sure. You know, having a consistent pass rush plan, and then, you know, being a leader on this team, we got to be better than we were last year overall as a team. That's my biggest focus. You know, me personally, my personal goals, uh, those aren't really my main goals. My main goal is improving as a team and getting back to the Big Ten Championship. Did what you have to have surgery? I did have surgery, yeah. When was that shortly after? Like, uh, January 7th, yes. What was the recovery time frame from that? Where they say, all right, now you can do this, now you can do this, now you're fully clear? Uh, I just started running on turf, like on the flat ground a little bit. So I've been conditioning the pool, running the pool in the Alter G. And hopefully over the next few weeks, I'll be able to work my way back on the field. So in a month and a half, probably be fully cleared. What's what's your goal then for the fall? I mean, you want to be 100% by fall. But do there other things that you want to work on physically, like adding strength, adding quickness? What, I mean, is it, is it tough with that play right now? Uh, yeah, obviously I can't do everything I'd like to do because uh, I'd like to improve my pass rush. That's my number one goal right now, you know, improve my pass rush plan and, you know, be a consistent edge rusher. And I uh, haven't been really able to work on that, but I have been able to add some strength and size, which is another goal of mine. So, you know, I'm up to like 265, 270 right now. So, you know, just being able to get back to playing condition and playing shape is what I'll be working on throughout the summer. Kenny, can you take us back to that bowl game? I mean, you work all year, you guys play great defense all year, and then in the last game of the year you have something like that happen. Um, can you take me back to your frame of mind? And did you find out immediately after? Was it like a day or so after you get the x-rays and figure that all out? Or uh, I, found, I found out immediately after. Okay. So right when I, we were in the, they took me to the tunnel and I got x-rayed. So I found right. out within five minutes, yeah. And you know, I called my dad and talked about it with him. And you know, he was just telling me that it's not the worst thing in the world. Like, you're gonna be fine. Like, it's not that big of, at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. And you know, I just realized, you know, mm-hmm. coming through it, I gotta have a, good mindset coming into spring you know I can't be down can't complain I got to come out and try to be a leader try to be a captain on this team so you know I try to get back out there be with my guys on the sideline try to root them on did you uh, carry said when you, you remember you coming back to the sidelines like I broke my leg so what? like just kind of like just move was it just instantly moving on to the, to the next step type of deal that's yeah it's just kind of the way I am you know Things are going to happen in life, you know, things aren't going to go your way, but it's just how you respond, how you move on. You know, if I'd sit there and dwell and say, poor me, I could have easily done that. But, you know, I'm going to be there for my teammates and I'll bring my teammates on. You had surgery yeah. before that? Was what you say? You had a surgery before yeah, that? Yeah, uh, my freshman year, I had double hernia surgery. Oh, okay. So you, oh, you'd done that in life. A little yeah. different recovery process, though, I bet. Yeah, definitely a different recovery process. Before all that, how do you look back on the year you had? Excuse me? Uh, you know, I thought it was a good year, um, but we definitely have a lot to improve on. You know, we didn't come here to go six and seven. We didn't come here to go seven and six. You know, we came here to win championships. So that's what's on my mind, my mind now. You know, trying to work back to get back to that Big Ten championship. 
obviously you'd like to be out there, but you just talked about being a leader. Does, does being on the sidelines sort of force that out of you, I guess, a little bit more? Um, just because that's kind of all you can do, I guess, to a, to a degree? Yeah, you know, it definitely hurts to, you know, have to watch my teammates be out here, watch my teammates struggling through a hard day working without me. But uh, the only thing I can do is, you know, coach, you know, try to give back, try to be a mentor, a leader of the younger guys. You know, I've been in the system for five years, so I know the defense, you know, I know how it goes around here. So, you know, I try to bring positive energy, you know, bring the energy every day and uh, coach up guys, coach up younger guys. What have you seen from that defense so far this year in spring? Well, the defenses look good, you know, we're playing Spartan dog defense, so fast, physical, aggressive, the things we preach, you know, bringing energy, running to the ball. You know, we got a lot of younger guys playing in there that one of our goals is to develop 22 starters this spring. So, you know, we got a lot of younger guys that are in there that are playing well, so it's good to see. Specifically those young ends, you know, those are guys that don't have a lot of experience. What do you like about some of those guys, like a Beasley or a Slade, gets into those type of guys? Yeah, you can see uh, the DNs have had a lot of progression throughout the spring so far, for sure. You know, uh, Jacob Panshuk's a guy that's increased his pass rush tremendously. You know, him and Drew Beasley, you know, they've taken on the role of the starting DNs this spring, and they both have uh, played incredible this spring. And then you got guys like Gissinger and Slade and uh, Mossberg who are coming along, you know, learning the techniques at DN, learning the nuances of our defense. Can, what can Mossberg do eventually, do you think? Uh, Mossberg's a very high energy guy, high motor guy. He's got to put on some weight. He struggles to put on weight, which I also had a trouble with early on in my career. So, you know, if he gets his weight up, you know, he could be a heck of a player for us. Do you look back at the decision to play in the bowl game? Would I, I mean, going through what you've been through, did you, would, it, would you do it any differently? I would not, no. We only get, we work all year, winter conditioning, you know, spring ball, summer workouts, fall camp to get 12, 13 opportunities to, you know, go out there and battle with my teammates. So, you know, I'd do the same thing. What do you see from your your veteran teammates on the offensive side. Do you see a different kind of approach from them this year? Yeah, they've definitely taken a different demeanor, you know. They've taken the challenge that last year wasn't good enough, and, you know, we got to get better this offseason. So, you know, you see a lot of guys step up. Uh, Brian's personally challenged himself. You can tell to, you know, get better and be a leader on that offense. You know, Matt Allen on the offensive line, uh, Tyler Higby are some guys stepping up, Daryl Stewart, wide receiver room, you know. we got a lot of guys over there that are, took it personally last year, uh, uh, you know, how the season went, so that we took it personally and they're trying to get better. How much were you able to do this winter uh, in the offseason program? Anything? Just strictly upper body stuff or nothing at all? Or? Uh, I was able, I've been able to do a decent amount, especially now that I'm working back on my legs. So I was strictly upper body for a while, just trying to put on weight. But now that I'm working back into it, I've been able to do some stuff with my lower body, you know, single leg press uh, with lighter weight on this and a little bit of running here and there. So working back into it slowly. What's the last time you shaved your head when Mark gave you the scholarship? Uh, it was not. It was, okay. During the, my sophomore season, it was the first it was the first time I shaved my head. Midway through the season, and I shaved it last year before fall camp. Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. See how long I can get it. There you go. Yeah. Quick, Brian. Uh, <laughs> not that. <laughs> Absolutely.